Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out. <clears throat> Noticed I got a few more subscribers this week. I appreciate you new kids and cadets coming out and checking out this junk on four wheels. We got a lot to talk about on this Craftsman. It's a 2015 seven and a quarter horsepower engine, a newer style Briggs and Stratton engine. So I had sold a Turo, an older quantum style Turo recycler a couple weeks back to a gentleman. He had to borrow somebody's van to come pick it up. Said he hadn't been working for two years, yet he cut lawns in the neighborhood. He had like 20 accounts. He just pushed the mower up and down the street cutting grass. Well, he messaged me yesterday, said the recycler self-propulsion was not working. It started grinding. So I asked him if he could bring it back. He said no, he didn't have a ride. So tomorrow morning I'm actually going to bring this Platinum Briggs & Stratton out to his location and swap out the Turo. Even Steven. So I, I dug this out of my to-do pile today. I was looking for a new, newer machine, something that I thought would hold up for semi-commercial use since he's going to be using it on a daily basis. He's not Harvey the homeowner who uses it once a week. So this thing had some issues so I went through it today. Let's discuss what I had found out with this crafty machine. So first off I did a carb clean. The um, gas in the bowl was varnish like the jet was plugged up with snot so I flushed out the tank put the uh, carburetor back together and put it on and uh, we'll discuss what happened next but on, upon checking the uh, blade when I had it on its side notice that the um, blade was a little off centered it wasn't flush with the adapter here. Whoever had it before must have hit something. They rounded off the bow tie here. That should have the same bow tie stamping as this blade does. So that's completely rounded out and the two little stubby shear pins here or hold down pins are sheared off. So I I put a new um, adapter on it. I had a, a brand new one from the Big Jungle Company so I threw that on. Made that all right. Um, what else did we have to do with this thing? So I started it after the carb clean. It, it warmed up fine but then it started hesitating, coughing and puking. So I turned the unit off, same thing, started up coughing and puking. So I thought, well, what could it be? Could the carburetor be the issue? But I did a pretty good job of cleaning it, so I decided to take the plug out. And the plug was the issue. I'll show you here in a second. It had a Champion RC12YX. And what had happened is the uh, porcelain here cracked. If you can see that, I don't know if you can or not, but the, the porcelain's cracked right there. So this thing was probably arcing out somehow with this cracked porcelain. Anyway... So that was a RC12YX. I've got an exact 725 Platinum machine like this without the bag and that takes an RC12YC. So maybe these two are interchangeable. I think it's to do with the electrode. Anyway, I threw another um, 
12 YC in it and it, it starts. I'll prove it to you after we change out the air filter. This is what came out of it, the original Briggs & Stratton filter. We're going to put an aftermarket, no name filter on it. I buy these 10 and 20 at a time, they're just knockoffs. In other words, it's not OEM equipment. This original one is probably seven or eight dollars. I can get these for like two bucks each if I buy in bulk. These aftermarket China mach um, machined filters. Cover's got a crack in it. That's original equipment. So this has got the automatic choke, it's just pull and go. I took the uh, front wheels off, put some um, little bit of axle grease on those. Those were a little stiff. The rear wheels were fine. So I think he'll be happy with this 725 machine. He wanted a bag. He had the bag with the Turo and wanted self propel So this fulfills his desire in a small lawn mower. Anywho, that's all I got for you. So this one was a little different with the bad adapter. Somebody must have ran into something and spun the blade around. When it was running rough, I thought maybe it was the um, shear pin off timing, but the, um, the plug was the real culprit. I thought I might have to disassemble all of this again and put a another um, shear pin in it. But it seems to be running fine now. I'll deliver it. Like I said, hopefully, hopefully he's happy with this Precision Plus cutting system by Craftsman. That's all I have for you kids and cadets. Appreciate you coming out. Like I said, a lot of you have new, su new subscribers. Thanks for coming out and checking out this junk. I'll have more videos on cue for you guys. Thanks. Have a good day today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. Tip your waitress and wait staff. You already know that.